Yo, what's poppin' guys? Welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. Today we are continuing our RPG game tutorial. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. So, in the last video, we covered, uh, this, this title screen, and then the basic movement, and then basic moving between screens, right? Now we are going to cover, today in this video, um, entering buildings and NPC interaction. So, let's get right into that. So I wanted to start with NPC interaction. Uh, yeah, I wanted to start with NPC interaction because I find that uh, more fun. Now there's two ways to do it. I'm going to do it the very basic way, the most basic way I can think of, and that's by having each. So if you've looked at my um, scrolling system tutorial, you'll see that I add NPCs in that too, and I use a clone one where I just clone it a bunch and a bunch over and over again. But I'm going to do it a simple way. I'm going to I'm going to have a laid back simple system for creating NPCs and that's just creating NPCs. So I'm going to call this NPC test NPC because you know it's 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 a this is a tutorial, right? I'm just going to make him like a red guy. Again, hold shift to uh, do it from the uh, to get a perfect circle. Don't forget to center it. Find where you want to place him. I'll place him right there. Um so we will do when the green flag is clicked. This is on test NPC. Hide when I receive play, we will do forever. If go to operators, grab an equals, go to looks, come down to backdrop number and switch that over to backdrop name. If backdrop name equals one, which is what this main screen is, then he will go to there and hide. Yeah, I actually should have grabbed an if else and go went bat boo bow beam and then uh, oh not hide oopsies this should be a show and then hide is in the else so now if we start it up beep bam there he is there's the NPC go into the screen it disappears come back there he is look at that there he is oh yeah okay now I need to set up a system where we can talk to him. Now we need to talk to him. How do we go about talking to the guy? That's pretty easy. Now, come to player, and we'll make a new block, and we'll call it NPC Interactions. That's an A. And then hit OK. Put NPC Interactions right under World Interactions. And then right up here, NPC, define NPC Interactions. Again, it's already in a forever loop technically, so we don't need to have this in a forever loop. So just grab yourself an if. If touching, we'll do if touching test NPC. Grab yourself an and symbol in operators. Go touching NPC. And, and now this is where you can really get creative. I'm going to do an or here. And do key space pressed or key E pressed because E is another like classic interaction button that people use I'm just gonna use you can either do space or E to interact with them um, then hmm well okay so blah, blah, blah. here he is actually NPC interaction shouldn't be in this guy I'm an idiot I'm an idiot guys I'm so dumb guys I'm so dumb put that whole thing in the test NPC guy I'm sorry I'm bad I'm bad I'm sorry in this guy you don't need to do this actually yes you do this just needs to be player. And then put that right underneath his his sh thing. And now, there we go. This will be correct. Now the NPC, you can have him say, you know, hello. You're a nerd. Lol. Get wrecked. There. Now, let's see if we can talk to him. Walk up to the guy. So he can move uh, in and out between screens. Yes, yes he can. And we can walk up to him. Hello, you're a nerd. Wall get wrecked. Look at that beautiful NPC. We can talk to him. Now, we have to set up a building. Now we gotta set up a building. Here's the good stuff. We gotta set up a building. So how are we gonna do that? Make a new sprite. And I'm going to call this test building. All right, now how I like to set up buildings in this is I'll just make a very basic building. I'll make it like a gray here. I, as I like to set up like that. Like here's like the building thing, right? Like here's the front of the building. 
Then I like to take this and I like to come up. Oh boy. Come up like this here. Oh boy, hold up. Hold shift to get like your perfect degree lines. And then come across, come up, just like that. And then you can like kind of go like, yeah, 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 yeah. there we go. And then you are also going to want to, now that I think about it, draw a line right here, just like that, just like that. And then we can take our little fill tool. We can grab one of those. We can get a dark gray and then this other one, a bit of a lighter gray and swap those around like that. So it gets darker as it goes backwards. And then really to fix it up, just to make it make, you know, like sense and all that good stuff is we can go ahead and take our fill tool and grab that and then make this color that there. That makes more sense. Cool. And then basic thing is to make like test. Obviously you'd like design this to make it look a lot better. And then I like to add a door like a way to you know get into the building you know oh that's not what i meant oh yeah right fill needs to be off outline needs to be on and at 10 there we go i like to do that that's what i like to do and then we will grab this that boom oh boy so um I'm gonna just take out this middle bit, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little. <laughs> that looks awful. That looks awful. Oh, that looks abysmal. That looks abysmal. That looks absolutely terrible. <laughs> I don't really care. There we go. There's a little bit of link. Put it where you want it. I'm gonna put it right here. See, because now it looks like it's there. Like, look, isn't that so cool? That's so cool. I am going to, um, I like to take this, right? And I like to go like to 10, this bottom part, 10. Put those, so I like to do zero, zero, 10. So it's not black because we're going to have wall collision. And then I like to just do that. So it still looks about the same color. You can't really tell there unless like you really look. But either way, who ca who cares? If that little thing bothers you, just click this and go backwards, 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 backwards. There we go. Look at that. Bam. It's a little bit nicer. And then in here, we can like come up with a color. Maybe it's like a, a sliding glass door. Who knows? I don't know. I'm not sure. Ma. But don't forget to make this a complete square. Bam. Now maybe it's like a little, little glass right there, like a little sliding glass door. Cool. So come to your player, we'll set up wall collision really fast. So in here, what you're going to want to do is if um, sensing, touching, I like to do color black. If touching color black, because that's what always my walls are, then we will do, um, you know, boy, motion. And this is change Y. So we'll grab a change Y. And since it's three, we'll make it negative three. Then we'll duplicate this here. Make this three, because that's a negative three right there. Duplicate it here, take out the Y, put in an X, it's positive three there, so it's a negative three there. Duplicate it into this last piece, it's negative three there, so it's positive three there. Cool, now let's see what happens. We start up our game, boom, boom, I need to set that up. Now look, now we can't, can't go, we can't, we can't go, we can't, t we can't go through the building. But right here, we can go in. All right, now that's a bit of an issue. That's an easy fix though. All you need to do is right in this part, um the controls just go ahead and slap in you go to front layer right right above world interactions and then that should fix it there we go now you can go like in here just like that look you can fit in there but you can't actually like do anything you can just slide in there which is why we made this little line not black so we can move in just like that all right now you might also notice a thing that's a bit of an issue now we can't touch the thing or we can't interact with the npc now look at that we can't interact with them Here's what we do. Very simple fix. Go to your move up, go into the costumes, grab your fill, make these first two zero, and make this one a 10. So it looks like it's black, but it's not black. See, you get it? Then go to your NPC, do the same with his outline. 
Now, look at this. Now you can go here just like that. And you can go and talk to your NPC. See, isn't that just beautiful? It's beautiful, I know, I know it is. <laughs> I know, I know, you don't need to tell me, I know. Now let's continue setting up this building. So in this building, we can do the, when the green flag is clicked, hide. You know, we can really just grab this and take this play and just smack that right into the building. And then boom, the actor name is one. Just make sure you change your coordinates so those are correct. And then there you go. Except the only thing here is don't, don't do that. Only thing that needs to be done here is uh, when touching the player. Um, okay, wait, no. This one we can do. This one, all we need to do is come into our player and we'll make a block and we'll call it building interaction. Bam, just like that. Smack building interaction and world interaction because this one doesn't need to be in the building. Ah, ha, ha. All right, here, I'm just gonna grab one of these just so I can easily do this. If touching test building, right? So if touching test building, and then we need to do an and. If touching test building, sorry if you hear noises, there are people in the office below me. Plus there's a car outside right now. There's a motorcycle. I don't know, they're loud. Um, so if touching that and do 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 I'm just gonna grab that and go beep and then come in here and go like a whoop boop whoop boop a uh, whoop beep. So if touching building and your space e interact key is touching, right? Then we need to make a backdrop for the inside of this building. So what I'll do this is I'll call this test building inside. Okay. And now we just need to set up an inside of this building. So I'll make like the floor, boom, look at that. There's the floor. Then maybe this place has like a counter in it or something, I don't know. What do buildings have in them? You tell me, I don't know. It has like a counter. Maybe it's like a shop, so it has like some shelves here. Maybe it has like some shelves. So you can like, you know, look at the items that they have to sell. All right. All right. Okay, cool. So, now, um, actually, with this thing, you don't even need to have this in here. You can just make it test building. So, like, whenever you walk into the entrance, because obviously you can't touch it otherwise, but, you know, at least I'm pretty sure you can't. I'm pretty sure you can't. But anyways, we'll test that in just a second. So, if touching test building, then we will switch the backdrop to test building inside, right? And then let me just quickly set this and then show the player. Because we need to tell the player where to go. And I'll make our player go like right here. Yeah, right there. We'll make our player go right there. So then set this. We'll have the player go to there. Pretty easy, right? Now, we need to go to our move down. Remember this, our move down block? Okay, cool. We're going to duplicate this. And we are going to, oh my goodness, I didn't mean to do that. I don't mean to do that. I don't mean to do that. Boom, 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 boom. We need to take this and we need to move it to our entrance of the building, which is going to be right here. So now, if backdrop name equals test building inside, it'll show, but it will go to negative one, two, four, as we've already placed it. So our uh, coordinates are right there. Negative one, 78. It's 177, but it was 178 before, so it doesn't really matter. And show. Fantastic. Now we can come to player, and what we can do is duplicate this in our world interactions. If touching move down, and the name is test building inside, then we will switch our backdrop to one because that is where the building is. And then what we need to do is come to here and set it to one, and then show our player and show our building, and then put our player right outside the building. And then right here, we need to set this up what it is. So it'd be 132 and player is at 15. Fantastic. Now, let's check and see if this works. So we play, here's our stuff. We can come up here, boom, boom, interaction works. Talk to the NPC, hello, you're a nerd. Lol, get wrecked. Now, we can come over to here and we can't touch the building. Okay, we can touch the building there. So that's an issue we can fix right now really quick. So, I had to do that, test building, 
Go ahead, grab this. Smack it in there. Grab him. Why don't I throw that in the building? Throw that in the player. <sighs> I'm an idiot. Wow. Um, right here. If touching, change player to building. This building. Okay. Boom. Now let's try that. So, obvious. Okay. So, boop. Um, so now we can, can't, can't do it just like that. You can't get into the building unless you walk in and press E or space, which will then send you here. And then look at that. You're in the little building. You're in the building. You're doing some cool stuff because you're in the building. Obviously, I think I'd make these black so you can't touch them. But look at this. These are still here. Why are these here? Huh? Why are they here? So what we're going to need to do is I'd grab ourselves a boop 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 duplicate that if name equals test building inside then all you need to do is just make it hide now we can set that to the other ones move down it needs to show move left it doesn't need to show and move right it doesn't need to show so move left just go ahead smack it in there move right go ahead smack it in there um and move up boop there we, okay now everything should be good everything should be good come into here space boom all those disappear we come back out there they are in out in out in out in out in out fantastic now one thing i do want to mention over here if you don't want to be able to move here so we're, this is kind of setting up a cutscene kind of thing if you don't want to be able to move while an npc is talking here's all you need to do in your test npc when you start talking we're going to make a broadcast right we're going to broadcast before you start saying anything saying stop controls okay then we need to come to our player right what we need to do is just right here when you receive stop controls all you need to do scroll down grab this stop all and change the all to other scripts in this sprite and then it'll stop everything meaning you won't be able to move and then after the npc is done talking right you need to make the broadcast of controls so that the player gets their controls back now let's see if that works hit this we can no longer move he keeps talking and the second he stops talking we get our controls back and we can go back to entering buildings all that good stuff so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it then like it and if you didn't like it like it anyways because um you know we still got more episodes coming out in the next video we should start working on i don't know exactly what we're gonna do don't make promises on this being the next thing this is my next idea for this series is uh, inventory stuff we're eventually gonna start working on items crafting uh, maybe a battle system cool stuff like that so Stay tuned for that. Subscribe so you get the notifications for it. Yeah, while you're at it, subscribe. Just go ahead and do that. That'd be super cool. Um, you know, according to YouTube statistics, a very, very, very small portion of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you just go down there, check and see if you aren't. And if you're not, just click it. It's quick, easy, and free. And, you know, you can always unsubscribe later. If you don't like what you see, I don't know why you wouldn't like what you see, though. I'm pretty awesome. But, yeah, join Discord link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.